Hello everyone, this is Rahil from cyphertech.com and this is our first video on our series in Angular 2. So in this video we'll be learning about the architectural overview on Angular 2 and we'll, we'll be having uh, a look at the prerequisites we'll require to run our Angular 2 apps. So let's just quickly hop over to the architectural diagram that I have done. So what you can see over here is a big block that is a component and then you have a service that is injected via dependency injection and you have a directive uh, used in a template and you have some child components so basically your angular app uh, comprises of the hi a hierarchy of components so you have a root, root components and you have child components and you have these components linking to each other via routing sometimes maybe even selectors uh, a component is basically just a standard typescript class uh, with a template and a metadata. Metadata is something that tells Angular 2 to treat the class as a component. And let me tell you one thing, a component in Angular 2 is nothing but a directive. A directive with a template. But since uh, the component is really a core part of your Angular 2 app, it has to be pulled out and explained separately. The other thing is that you have a service uh, where you will be uh, running all your data fetching logic or maybe some common logic that you won't need in to have in a component class so you can extract those stuffs in a service and then you can uh, inject it via dependency injection um, and also uh, we have event bindings and property bindings these are the two types of bindings we, ha uh, we have we do not have out of the box two-way data binding but angular team has given us a directive using which we can very well do two-way data binding as well it is just a combination of event and property binding all right so i think this was the basic of the architecture we have um, now what we'll need is we need to know what do we the, the things we need to run our angular 2 app so basically you need to have uh, node.js so let's just hop over to node.js So you can go over to this website and download the version you require. I would recommend the LTS version but I am using the latest current version but I have been facing a few issues related to NPM. So basically Node.js Node comes up with a tool uh, NPM that is used as a package manager in Angular 2. And I think that is it what we require to run an Angular 2 app. So until next time, it's a wrap. Peace.